Hello and welcome to today's video and where I basically show you my room. Little disclaimer here, uh, excuse the poor audio quality because I used the internal microphone on my camera because I didn't want to run around with my mic in hand. So we start with the background of my videos and this actually has two functions. The first function is to, well, uh, be a background uh, when I do my moderations and stuff and the other one it uh, dampens the sound at, uh, well, kind of acoustic improvement uh, because of all the different shapes and the sizes of the books it nicely reflects the tone. So, as you can see, we have on the top my Power Rangers collection that I've uh, played with when I was a child. Um, all the good stuff. Here are my Biker Mice from Mars and here is the Nightbearer LP. The majority of books on those shelves are comics. I'm a huge comic nerd and uh, you can see a plethora of series. I go quickly through some of them so you well, get a clue what I like and what I don't like and uh, I could basically make my own channel of comics. If you want me to talk more about comics, let me know down in the comment section. I might do it in the future. So here we have some Sandman, my Marvel Omnibus collection. It's growing, I just recently started. Here we have some Scott McCloud, Jeff Smith stuff. Disney comics, Disney, here are Turtles, Disney, Disney, some Marvel stuff and Image, Lazarus, one of my favorite comics, Walking Dead, Black Hammer, some random stuff, Battle Pope for instance, some Image stuff, X-Men, X-Men is my most favorite series. Black Signs, 100 Bullets, Bones, Sin City, Asterix, and some stuff from Belgium and France. Here we have Calvin and Hobbes, Spawn, Alan Moore stuff, Über, X Men, Why the Last Man, Akira, some Marvel trades, Heroes. One of the best TV shows ever made. There are some manga, I'm not a huge manga fan, as well as Wind Spectre, some toys from my youth, Dragon Ball, my most favorite manga, and Goku and Gohan, more X Men stuff, those are mostly German, Matrix, DVD set, The Darkness, Image. Exiles, one of my favorite Marvel series. More Marvel stuff, as well as some German stuff. Here's my Fables collection, as well as 100 Bullets. Again, Star Wars comics. And on this shelf are my normal books without, well, pictures. <laughs> Those books I still have to read. And here is some stuff that I already read. Philip K. Dick, I'm a huge science fiction fan. My Andreas Eschbach collection, the best writer of novels I've ever seen, at least for science fiction novels. I have uh, two rows of books. Um, well, here is Die Unendliche Geschichte, A Never Ending Story, Neil Gaiman. There's a bit Lord of the Rings, Ted Williams, Other Land, George R. R. Martin, His Dark Materials, Philip Pullman, a really cool story. So the last shelf, 
here's my guitar techniques collection it's a, a British magazine that specialized on uh, guitar instructions a really cool magazine well those shelves are empty it's just my Xbox 360 controller that I use with my PC here's some Donkey Kong Konga for whatever reason my Bluetooth box for referencing mixes here are my plaques that I record with. Those are focus. I use gravity picks to record. This is my recording pick. And I have a bunch of other stuff. And here is a joystick. Left from the bookshelf is my amp shelf. And here are some Winsome McKay, Little Nemo in Slumberland. And here come the amps. My PRS MT15, the Marshall Valve State, awesome amp. Here's a torpedo captor that I always use when hooking up amps. Finally, my PVVTM60, bit rough shape but awesome sound. And the last amp, the Hisu Little Bastard from Poland. Really modern sounding, I really really like it. Has an English vibe to me. Oh, here are some more comics that I have to uh, put in those short boxes. Here is my current short box for the comics that I currently read. Well, and here just some storage stuff. And next to the amp rack is my traditional rack. Uh, currently I have three devices, the Sunsam PSA-1, the PV Rockmaster that I still have to review and this Washburn WSR-42 and it's basically a multi-stage distortion. I have to do a video on this as well. And there's plenty of space as you can see here to fill it with even more gear. And on the very left side there is, it's rather dark here. It's my gig bag for my rehearsal guitar and there is a stage box that I have yet to connect. Here is my workspace. From right to left we have my Samsung monitor, then my two Yamaha studio monitors, um, HS8 I think. Um, my microphone, some Amazon basic speakers, my main screen, keyboard mouse and actually another mouse and another keyboard because I have two computers, one on the right, one on the left. The left is exclusively for audio stuff and the right is for everything else. And here is my phone and here is my uh, controller for Cubase, it's the CC121 and this screen can actually be pulled up and it reveals the other rack space I have. On the right I have a Furman power conditioner and two patch bays, one for TRS and TS and the other one for XLR and on the left with my main interface the Steinberg UR824 and my Fractal Audio XFX3 underneath are my Cheox power supply uh, Palmer DI box and a uh, Dacapo reamping box from Palmer as well oh and on the back there is the subwoofer well, on this side I have this little shelf where I put everything that I need to make YouTube videos or my sound in general. Here is my trusty Boss HM2 made in Japan, always there for me. Some cable ties. Here we have my camera stuff, webcam. Here are some audio cables. Power supply stuff. And my JD Music Labs custom AB splitter box with me on it. What <laughs> was this idea? I find it, it, I think it's hilarious. And some more cables. Next to it are my guitars. 
and we'll start from right to left. Here is my songwriting bass. Well, whoops. Okay, it's an Ibanez SDGR. I have it for quite some years now, never failed me. And I really like to play it for songwriting. Here's my Fender American Stratocaster, three single coils, a nice sunburst. Modded it so that I have two more sound options. My Charvel uh, CX291 that I've heavily modded. I installed some different pickups. I have a totally new body, however, I might change it to the original because, well, this body doesn't like this neck at all. So this is, right now it's not fully working. A PV Vandenberg and this nice blue-greenish color, this is stock. I bought it because it was cheap and, well, it, the shape is just nice. And now this is my main Floyd Rose guitar, I'm not using Floyd much. Here is my Ibanez Universe Multicolor and this nice swirl. I, I don't think this is the nicest swirl Ibanez ever made, but I got it for a stupid amount of money. It wasn't much and, well, it's heavily used, but it's in nice shape. Um, I've used it once at a show, but I'm, well, I'm a bit frightened it might be broken, so it just leaves here. Here's my main live guitar for the moment, Black Cat Custom, with this nice ash body, green blackish. It's a multi-scale, seven strings of course. My ESP LTD H207, I've installed some uh, Dimasio pickups. I, uh, well, I, well, it was cheap, I wanted to have some fun. Um, using it every so often. Another Ibanez, it's an RG7420 from Japan, so it's an old series. I installed some Dimasios, I think, maybe they are Sema Duncan. It has this awesome swirl finish, um, but the pickups aren't working yet, so this isn't function as well. I have to still solder it. But this will make a nice backup guitar for shows. And here's my Shack the C7. This is the first 7 string guitar that I've ever owned. Uh, still the AMG 707 stock pickups, but it has this nice green swirl upgrade. And this is my main songwriting guitar. Here are my two acoustic guitars, both the same. They are Fuig Durangos. One has a pickup, the other one doesn't. Well, I play them always when I want just to try a bit different approach. Maybe I, I have one in open tuning, I think. Maybe this one. Nope. This one. Okay, this is in a funny open tuning because it has a pick here. Um, no, both are currently in standard tuning, but sometimes I uh, tune one to an open tuning just to have some fun with them. And next to my comics are my recording instruments. Um, we have this nice Sandberg California bass. It's a sunburst. I really like sunburst finishes. Um, it's not modded apart from the sanded down neck. Uh, it's awesome workhorse bass. I really like to play it. This is my Black Hat Custom Single Cut, 27 inch, has some bare knuckle cold sweet pickups in it and this nice green finish. This is my main studio guitar, although I might sell it in the future because I think I'm going to upgrade. My Mayones CTU7 with Dimasio deactivator pickups, this is the backup studio guitar. Um, has a nice blue maple top. Um, both of those guitars have mahogany bodies. And my trusty Blackhead Custom. You should have seen this guitar on a couple of videos. 
I recently upgraded this one to be my studio guitar. Um, it's a multi-scale, has a bare knuckle aftermath, I think. And uh, this will be my main studio guitar in the future. So, uh, because I don't need this much studio guitars, basically just one or two, I might sell the Black Hat Greenie. And here we have the Shelf of Shame or the Shelf of Joy, however you want to call it. Um, it's still a bit messy, I still have to buy some things to get it all sorted out, but well, that's how it is right now and I want to show you. So here in front we have our Jack Skellington and some twisty puzzles I like to play with when, well basically waiting when everything is rendering or exporting, bouncing, whatever. Um, this space needs some more decoration as well as the white wall, but well, yeah, it's nice to, uh, so I can put some effects on it or amps. And well, so here we have some boring documentaries, here we have some stuff I have yet to review or want to do stuff with uh, the Logan, for instance, as well as a wah pedal, some technical stuff, my screwdriver, scissors some hard drives, uh, the Rocktron Metal Planet that I want to sold, and two DVDs. Here on the upper row we have blank CDs for burning down uh, mixers. Here we have picks, my strap, some manuals. Here are currently my comics as well. Some books, both guitar and mixing relevant, uh, for instance the Swedish death metal book by Daniel Ekroth, as well as the metal music manual, or um, I think Rock Disciple by John Petrucci is there as well. Um, some stuff for cleaning the guitar and some spare parts, and here again spare parts. And now the interesting part, my drawers. Pedals. 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 Pedals, um, HM2 pedals, HM2 pedals, exclusively I think. Pedals, HM2. And um, pedals. So, that's it. Basically, um, a bit work in progress still, but I think you get the general idea on how I have everything set up and uh, well I keep you updated if I change anything uh, you've seen the uh, patch box and I think you wanna know why I have this patch box and where it leads to uh, but this will be another video maybe the 2022 edition or so no idea so you have any comments well I have a comment section so use it and with this said, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and have a nice day.